Owen, oh, great to see you. I know it's been on the cards for a little while. How nice to actually get the deal done and, and be a Bolton Wonders player. That oh, was brilliant. Um, I know it's been on the cards for a few weeks, but I'm glad it's done now. I'm really looking forward to getting started. It's great to see you. Of course, you've been playing because it's your, your season over there with Derry City and you're having a good season. How's it been? Yeah, I enjoyed it. Um, been a day five, five, six seasons and really enjoyed it. But i um, looking forward to this opportunity now at Bolton Wonders. Yeah, still quite a young man, but a lot of first-team football under your belt at Derry. Uh, was this the right time though to, to, to make this move? Yeah, I think so. Um, Bolton's a massive club. I think it was just too too big of a club for me to turn down, and, and a very good opportunity for myself to showcase over here in England. Yeah, Derry City's got a proud record of sending players. With players coming from Derry into English football and doing very well. So you're following a good line. Hopefully, hopefully, uh, follow a few of the players that, that have come over to England and, and done well for themselves. Yeah. Just tell us a little bit about yourself. I know you were born and raised in Armagh, played there first, and then went to Derry. I think at the age of 17, and you've been there ever since, and obviously made a big impact. What's your sort of growing up? Because you've got a strong background in Gaelic sports, I believe. Yeah, well, family's all in the Gaelic, so I chose the football instead. So, um, no, I was at Armagh, and then went to for Derry, I was there for, as I said, five, six seasons. And uh, it's now nice staying here, and I'm looking forward to the new challenge. Good man. And a central defender who can play in a couple of positions across the back line, obviously a, a, a strong level. What sort of attributes hopefully will you, will you bring to the, to the squad? Hopefully I can bring up a bit of experience, um, obviously I haven't played in England as of yet but I think I've played a lot of games for my age and um, look, if you, once I'm on the pitch I'll, I'll be always giving 100% to everyone and, and, and that's all I can do. You've captained Derry, you've captained Northern Ireland in the 21 so is that something again that uh, you've obviously got some good leadership qualities, are you proud to have done that? Uh, yeah, um, I just, that's just part of the game and uh, hopefully I can take that with me and, and, and strive on to be better. In terms of a, a bottom wonders, a League One club at the moment, but a big club, does it feel like a, a big club and a club going in the right direction coming here? Definitely. Um, it feels like it's a club that's going places. Um, it looks like it's preparing to get better and better, and, and since I've arrived, everyone's been brilliant, and, and I can't thank everyone enough, enough for that. You've played some European football recently as well, so uh, you've got a lot of experiences under your belt at, at all manner of football. How, how enjoyable has that challenge been? Yeah, it's been good. Um, played a few games in, in, in the European football. Uh, some different, playing against different countries, but uh, we would used it now and we were lucky, obviously. So look, I'm just glad to get started here and uh, I'm really looking forward to it now. And you come here with Derry second in the league table now, and so it's obviously been a, a very good uh, season up to press. I'm sure you leave with their best wishes, I presume, do you? Yeah, definitely. I've um, built a lot of good relationships with Derry, a lot of good people there. and. I couldn't thank them enough for, for letting this go through and um, it's a club that I'll always, that I'll always have time for and I'll always be a supporter of that club. And, and in terms of here, just a little bit of time perhaps just to sort of find your feet at this level but the manager's made it absolutely clear, you're straight into that first team squad, you're a big part of his plan so you're hoping as you say that you can, I say you can just sort of find your feet and then hopefully challenge for place fairly soon? Yeah definitely, that's, that's given me the confidence and um, as I say, I find feet and uh, get started as soon as possible. In terms of, of League One, I mean, it is a change from that top flight of Irish football, but as I said, plenty of players have proved they can make that step. Is that something that uh, you're confident you, you'll, you'll manage? Yeah, definitely. I've um, seen a lot of players, a few of my friends went over to League One and done really well, and um, I don't see why I can't do that. And is this a bit of an ambition? I know a lot of young Irish players, great league over there, but want to play in English football. Is this sort of a bit of an ambition for fulfilled to get this opportunity? Yeah, definitely. You always want to be playing at the highest standard you can, and I think. Um, Every, every young boy, every player wants to do that there and, and you're going you're gonna to do that when you're coming over England because that's where all the top players and, and top teams are. And then just lastly, I mean, at the start of any season every side is excited and I know it's, you just met the players I think at the training ground yesterday and sort of met the staff, excited about the prospects for this season? Yeah, definitely. Um, there's a good buzz about the place and, and everyone was, was really friendly and, and uh, really welcoming. So uh, really looking forward to start, starting here. We really wish you well and it's nice to see Thank you. you. Thanks Thank very you. much. Cheers. Thank you.